Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to talk about when is y written as a function of x and when is it not? Come on, come on. There now. Okay, now first, let's write some functions of x. y equals 3x plus 2, or y equals 5x squared plus 3x plus 2, or y equals negative 7. I could go on and on, but these are y written as functions of x because y is isolated. It's all by itself, and therefore you could substitute f of x for y and write f of x equals 3x plus 2, or f of x equals 5x squared plus 3x plus 2. or f of x equals negative 7. You need y isolated on one side of the equal sign and all of the x's on the, or whatever, on the other side. Now, number 2 has examples of uh, uh, ex uh, equations, all right, equations that are not functions. They're not y written as a function of x. In fact, they're x written as a function of y. And we can't graph those. Go ahead and try. Try graphing, well, we can graph them by hand, but not on your graphing calculator. You can always graph them by making a t-table and then plotting the points. But these are not functions. even with an exclamation point. Now, let's look at something that is a function, but it's not written as a function. This is a straight line. Well, it's a slanted line. And it's a, a, it's a straight line written in standard form. It's a linear equation written in standard form but it's not written as a function. We're going to write it as a function. So there won't be any mistake. And how to do that? Well, we're going to solve for y. All right, so here's our equation. And we're going to do algebraic manipulation in order to solve for y. Subtract 3x from both sides. That leaves me 2y on the left, and on the right we'll have negative 3x plus 6. Then divide by 2, and divide by 2, and divide by 2. And you'll get y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. All right, so written where there's more room, we'll have y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3, which means I can now write this as f of x equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. And that's all there is to it.